Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use HTTP requests in Godot 4. HTTP requests are used for interacting with things called APIs. Skip to this time step if you already know what an API is. If you're watching this, I assume you already know what APIs are, but if you don't, I'll give you a quick rundown. Essentially, an API is a way to interface with some sort of backend server. Let's say you want to access some data or use some functionality from a company who has an API. For example, YouTube has an API where you can access stats like view count and subscribers. For example, that one video by Tom Scott that shows the amount of views inside the title is using an API to access that view count. Obviously, that's just a quick summary of what an API is. If you need a more detailed explanation, please check out the link in the description down below. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using Open Weather Maps API to get the current weather data of a certain area. To get started, go to add in an HTTP request node, drag it into your script. Next, create a new variable, which will be for your URL. For my API, it will be this, which simply has in the latitude, longitude, and the units. Next. Inside of our ready function, we need to connect our HTTP request to a request completed. So request completed dot connect. We'll connect to a function called on request completed. I was going to create this function. Copy that. Next, we'll pass in four variables. One being our results. Next being response code. Then headers and our body, which will be the JSON returned to us after the request. Next, we need to parse out that JSON. So variable JSON will be set to json.parse string, pass in the body dot get string from utf8. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and print out that JSON. That's going to create a new function. This will be for sending the request. So function send requests. In here, we'll set our headers to be content dash type application slash JSON because we want to get back a JSON file. Next, we'll call our HTTP request dot request. Then we will pass in our URL, our headers, and then what type of request we want to do. So HTTP client. And since we want to get data, we will do method dot get. And now let's just go ahead and call this send request function inside of our ready function. You'll see we get back our JSON from the API. And because JSONs work just like dictionaries, we can go ahead and call different parts of it. So let's get the main and the temp. And then you'll see we can get the exact temperature, which is 70.72 degrees. For some APIs, you can also send data to the server. I just have a test JSON file that I'm going to be sending to the server with the API. Let's create a new function called send data. Call it whatever you like. I will pass in the data, which will be the JSON file. we setting the variable JSON to json.stringify. I'll pass in that JSON or that data, my bad. And we'll be using the same headers that we used last time. But now instead of our HTTP request being a get request, we'll be doing a post request. So request, pass in the URL, then we'll pass in the headers. This time we'll call HTTP client dot method post. And then we'll also pass in that JSON file. Then we'll go ahead and call it inside of our ready function. So send data, pass in the test JSON. So after we run this, it will send the data to the server and we will get back our response from the server. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.